Abigail actually was in the NICU for 10 days, so. They did the newborn screening in the hospital right after she was born, and she failed the first one, and she failed the second one, so then the protocol is then they want us to schedule an appointment with a uh, audiologist. I met Abigail around 10 months of age, and she had already been diagnosed with a severe to profound hearing loss, and her parents were coming to me to make sure she was performing as well as she could be. Genetic testing did show that both Jeremy and Stacy each had the recessive gene, and when it was passed down, that is what caused the hearing loss. It still was a shock, though, when Zoe was born. She failed a newborn hearing screen, and um, that was really hard for us. And since I had been working with Abigail, the family came to me right away, and we did the diagnostic test. We did confirm that she had a severe to profound hearing loss, and she was fit with amplification just like her sister was very shortly after that. You get the diagnosis and you are grieving because when you have this child, you don't anticipate that um, this is going to be part of your life. When they're young, like a baby, an infant, they have to go through ear molds, new ear molds, like almost every month because their ears are changing so much that they need new molds. So that uh, adds to the cost. Plus, you know, the drive down and and none of that was covered by insurance. So yep. just having options out there to help support parents and children like our daughters is just amazing. So the really exciting thing is we have lots of technology to help partially restore hearing, but it's very expensive. Our great family has two little girls who needed two sets of hearing aids, and that's many thousands of dollars. The Fairview Foundation at the time was able to provide some partial funding to help them out. Patients like Abigail and Zoe can benefit from a wide range of services from Fairview Rehabilitation, including speech therapy, occupational therapy, physical therapy, and oral rehabilitation. We want to be able to have do every single opportunity that may arise that could help our girls with the development of oral spoken language. Um, that is our goal for them and that's why we're pursuing the cochlear implant. 